I got my hot chocolate made with marshmallows and I am getting ready to take down Christmas. So join me as I take down the decorations today while Jack is working and we get our house back in order and no more Christmas. Okay, so I think what I gotta decide before I start taking Christmas down right away is when we were putting Christmas out and I think I mentioned it yesterday, I, our TV console, I usually have like all of our books, our Bibles and like movies out, but I had taken everything off so I could fit the Christmas Lennox because we don't have a lot of storage. Like even our TV console is just Ikea. Um, as we slowly like make upgrades, our bedroom furniture is Ikea. Um, I, Jack built us this table over the summer. So we do have like a dining room table now. And then I just found these chairs for cheap on Amazon. Um, so he, what I want eventually is for him to build us like an entertainment system with drawers and stuff. That way when we have baby here, they can't get into stuff. Um, and then a, maybe like depending on if we do like shelves or not like a huge entertainment system then I could leave out like books and stuff on that or like floating shelves or something but like if we just do like a little bit longer of a entertainment system instead of having the open shelves like we have with our Ikea one have drawers and stuff so all the movies and books could be in a drawer that way I could like keep them closed so the baby can't get a hold of them but I guess I'm just deciding if everything out or not um to then maybe have to put it away just so the baby doesn't get into it even though I know we'll have a lot of time before we get to that point so I'm just trying to decide I don't even know if we'll get to building like an entertainment system this year probably not we probably won't have like the time or money to do that but I had loaded all of these cardboard boxes like moving boxes with everything that I had on that con console so I just need to get these unloaded not that I'm using these but just decide if I really want to put that stuff back out um, or not and then I got my Lennox boxes here so I'll probably start by putting all the Lennox away and then slowly organizing them into our new black bins and then decide if I'm really going to put the movies back out. And then I'll work my way over to the tree. Alright, so I got a couple of the Lennox put away. I still need to find two of the containers, so the other two are still out. And then I started working. I had to call Jack because he usually sets out the nativity set. And I couldn't remember how we put the piece in our bin with the bubble wrap. So he says to lay it on its back. So... I'm working on that right now and getting them all wrapped back up in the bubble wrap and making some progress. <laughs> These two gingerbread uh, boy and girl we found, I don't know, like four years ago at At Home. These are probably my two favorite, well, at least one of my favorite things that we found together because they are just so jolly. I love having them out at Christmas time and I've never seen them again since the year that we got them. Is there like one Christmas item or something that you grew up with that you just really wanted? Like for example, my the angel that my mom always topped our tree with growing up looked like a Barbie. I'll see if I have it in another shot because I just put it away and then I was like, man, I should have asked you guys. But I always loved it because the hair was like that Barbie hair and it was all curly and I just absolutely loved it. and. Last year, I think it was last year, or it might have been two years ago, uh, my mom was nice enough to give it to us because she knew it was my favorite. And when we were looking for an angel to top our tree with, I just told her, like, I can't find any like the one like you have, and it lit up and everything. We actually don't put it on the top of our tree because I can't get it to stay up there no matter what I've tried, and I don't want it to fall off. So. We did buy a different angel and it doesn't light up or anything, but it's still really pretty. But Jack's thing that he grew up with that he always loved was that nativity set. And his mom gifted it to him when we lived in our last house in Georgia because she had grandkids. So she was like, I can't set it out anyway. And she knew he always loved it. And we were looking for a nativity set. And his big thing was 
I want one that looks like the one I grew up with, like the one my mom had. So do any of you have one of those items? Like did it get passed down to you that you have now that you display every year? Or is it still at your parents' house or somewhere that you get to go see every year that's like your favorite item of those Christmas decorations? Let us know in the comments. My stocking that I grew up with with a carousel on it and when Jack and I got together we were looking for stockings to decorate our house with and once again I kept telling my mom like I just can't find like this one happens to be like really nice quality and I love like I love glitter and sparkles and everything so I love the sequins on it and it like shimmers and stuff but I kept telling her like I can't find anything like that to wear like I don't know just like the quality there and everything we did end up finding these ones finally at I think I think I got them at Marshall's um because Jack and I's theme is very like traditional colors like I love the gold the red and the greens for Christmas so we kind of sit even though I say that and this one happens to be the navy blue but so I did come across these and they're glittery so I liked them and they went with our red theme because we I like the deep red like Santa Claus's suit and everything but they still don't have like just that extra little bit of charm that this one had um, so I have this one now and we just hang them all my mom got Jack this one when we first got together so he had a stocking at her house but um, I'm glad that she gave me this one and I wish they still made them like this with the quality and everything because I feel like everything has just gone downhill anymore but yeah so I'm making some corn salsa right now. I took a little break from taking down the Christmas ornaments and I was having a little pity party for myself because if I bend over too much, like I just get like pain at like the top of my stomach, the bottom of my stomach. I just, I don't know if I shouldn't be bending over that much. And I try to squat as much as possible because I know that that's better to do, but still like getting stuff out of boxes is like, I don't squat every time so I took a little break from the Christmas ornaments and I'm making some corn salsa because we're gonna have Mexican bowls tonight I actually was looking in our cupboards if you watched our video yesterday we tried to go to the grocery store to get stuff to make like protein bowls but like the our grocery stores are just always picked over so it's kind of a hassle but we did have black beans in there rice I had canned corn I already had some red onion we got avocados um, on our way home from our little baby moon. So I'm making some corn salsa and we're just gonna have, we don't have any chicken or anything, but we're just gonna kinda have like some rice, beans, this corn salsa, and then we'll cut some avocado and make guacamole cause I could do either for dinner tonight. So I'm working on that right now. Here's what I have so far. Canned corn isn't my favorite. I would rather have fresh corn, but like I said, it's what we had on hand. We usually keep it in there because we make white chicken chili pretty often, at least once a month. Um, so hopefully I can flavor it up with some lime juice and then the red onion. And I put a serrano chili pepper in there. Um, so yeah, I'm just making this right now. First round of ornaments off the tree and into their container. Alright, we're down to the bows and the angel. Almost done. I got dinner going and I got a stain on my shirt that I'm trying to get out all ready for cooking. And so we got our rice going. I got our black beans boiling so I can turn those down a little bit. And then I got our avocado cut up. Um, I don't want guacamole. I'm, I just need to ask Jack if he wants guacamole and I can turn one of these avocados into guacamole. And then we got the corn dip or salsa in the fridge. Dinner is served. Thanks for cooking dinner. You're welcome. I appreciate it. My favorite, rice, <laughs> beans, corn, cheese, avocado. My fave. Your fave. And since I got behind today, we actually get to eat with the tree one last time. All right, Jack's helping me get all the ornaments in the boxes. And then we turned on my favorite Christmas movie. One last hurrah, we're watching The Holiday, my all-time favorite Christmas movie. 
The tree's bare minus the angel, and he's paint, playing Tetris with our boxes to see how to get all the ornaments to fit. <laughs> Erica likes when I pack the boxes because I like to pay, play Tetris. I took out the penguin, so I haven't put that one back in. So that one's done. Those, we had to keep a box that's long because we had some elongated pro, uh, items. <laughs> <laughs> as as so. the lid just hit me in the oh, lake. But oh, we still have one more hanging up there. Round two of packing. We got it all to fit. The penguin is no longer in this, so this is perfect. The penguin's in here. You can kind of see it through <laughs> the lid there. So this one's all tied down. And then this is where the garland and the angels are at. So and that one's all put together. So. Now it's time to take the tree down. Jack's work told him to all take home this bag of hot chocolate. <laughs> Two pounds, so we're going to give it a try, see if it's any good. It's not like the Starbucks I got it. Yep. We'll give it a try. Yeah. Well, thanks for hanging out with me today as I took Christmas down and made some dinner for us. And now we're just going to snuggle on the couch and try this new hot chocolate. So thanks again for joining us, and we'll see you around like a donut.